hey loves welcome back again to my channel my name is jenny so today's video is the drafting of princess dart bustier so if this is what you would like to learn don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also do well to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you'll be the first to be notified and also thank you to my returning subscribers if you are a new subscriber i also want to say thank you so let's get into it welcome back again soulmates so first of all what is princess that bustier princess that bustier is the kind of bustier that has the dart extension from the waist to the under bust and from the under bust to the bust point and from the bust point all the way to the ham hole area okay so the dart goes into the ham hole region so let's get into the drafting process the first thing to do now is to rule out your starting line so that line is going to serve as the shoulder line as we all know okay so just pay attention because this can be a little bit tricky then on that starting line i'm going to place my shoulder measurement divided by two right there and i added half inch because it's going to have a sleeve so on that point go down by half inch for your shoulder slope then from that half inch you are also going to go down by your ham hole length so i'm going to place the tape now on the actual shoulder line then I'm going to mark out 10 inches for my bust points, 13.25 for my under bust, then 16.5 for my half length, okay? So if you are making a blouse, the length should be longer than, be longer than your half length. But if you are going to attach this to a skirt or to a trouser for a jumpsuit, that means you are going to stop at your half length, okay? So whatsoever you have at the shoulder line, place it on the chest line to have like a straight line, okay? So I'm going to mark it. So after doing that, I'm going to use 3 inches for the neck width. So if your shoulder divided by 2 is more than 8, that means you are going to make use of 3.5 inches for the neck width. Then for the neck depth, I'm going to use 4 inches. So go ahead and use any inches of your choice at the neck depth okay so at this part i'm going to look for the midpoint then go in by half inch okay like this so on the chest line now i'm going to divide my balls by four place it there then i'm going to connect my ham hole curve so you can actually connect your ham hole with your free hand okay it's not compulsory you must use your pattern master or your ham hole curve so I'm going to connect the shoulder slope like this. So after doing that, coming to the under bust now, I'm going to divide my nipple to nipple measurement by 2, which is the bust span. Place it there. Mine is 3.5. So you're not going to add half inch to your bust span because you are drafting on the paper, okay? This is not your actual fabric. So go ahead and label out the line. So on the under bust, I'm going to take 1 inch at the center front, then 1.5 inches at the side. So if you have a bigger size, go ahead and make use of 1 inch at the center front, then 2 inches at the side. If you have a smaller bust, go ahead and make use of half inch or 0 0.75 at the center front, then 1.5 inches at the side, okay? Coming to the bust point, I'm going to come down by half inch. Then I'm going to connect this with a slant line. So towards the side front, I'm going to just connect this with a slant curve, okay? Like this. So what you are going to do now is to connect from the bust point to the middle of the ham hole, okay? So you can see, just connect it like this. So at the waist area for your bust that you can just take what you have on the under bust, just roll it down to the waist area, okay? Or you can just go ahead and subtract like what I did, half inch at both sides, at the center front and also at the side front. So whatsoever you have, you place it on the waistline for the bust, okay? 
So coming to this part, I'm going to take half inch for my darts at the ham hole part. Then I'm going to connect it in like this. So just connect it in like this. So now you can see we have three strokes of line at the ham hole part, okay? So the one at the middle is not going to be needed anymore. It's going to be cut off. So I'll just go ahead and make this also visible. So after making this visible, the next thing to do is to extend this shorter one. You can see this shorter one. I'm going to extend that part. So if you don't extend this, you are going to have a shortage. So I'm going to replace the dart intake, which is one inch. But instead of marking one inch, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches. So it's better you have excess than having a shortage, okay? So coming to this point now, I'm going to take my bust measurement divided by 4, which is 9. Place it this way, like we normally do. So go ahead and take your body measurements. So I'm going to place 9 inches at this part, okay? Then I'm not going to add any stitching allowance because this is your drafting paper so i'm going to add my allowance on my main fabric so on the under bust i'm going to take what i have there place it on the other that leg like this i'm going to mark my 7.5 on the waistline place your tape like this place what you have on the other that leg and i'm going to mark my 8 inches for my waist measurement okay so after connecting the point, this is what I have. So now I'm going to connect the new arm hole. So this is going to be the new arm hole for this princess dart bustier, okay? So this former arm hole is not going to be needed anymore. So I'm going to just cancel it up. So guys, this is what we have for the front now. So now, if you are going to make use of a boss that, it totally depends on you. But if you want to leave it straight, if you want the front and the back length to be of the same length, it's also fine. I'm going to give you a technique you are going to make use of if you decide to leave the front length and the back length to be of the same. So, but for this, I'm going to make use of one inch for the side darts. For those of you that want to make use of side that, okay? So, coming to the back, I went ahead to extend the lines and mark out my zip allowance. So, on the starting line, go ahead and divide your shoulder by two. And I'm also going to place my neck width of three inches, my neck depth one inch. So, just connect it this way. So now whatsoever you have at the shoulder area, go ahead and place it on the chest line and make a straight line for your arm hole line. So after connecting it, divide your balls by four and place it on the chest line. So on the waistline, divide your waist measurement by four. And I'm going to add one inch to that for the dart because the back is also going to have a dart, okay? So you can see what I'm doing. So connect your ham hole curve like this. So then you are going to go in by your bust band. Remember, you are not adding half inch to your bust band because this is your pattern paper, okay? It's not your main fabric. So towards the shoulder part, go down by half inch for your shoulder slope, okay? Then just connect it all the way to the neckline like this. So after doing that, I'm going to get the midpoint of the ham hole and I'm going to make a curve like this towards the chest line to meet with the dart. So you can see what I'm doing. Just curve it this way. So for the bust span, I'm going to mark half inch at the both side of the line, okay, to get my dart. So for this part also, I'm going to mark out my dart and also remember to extend this shorter part extend it by one inch okay so i forgot to do this on the pattern but i'm going to add it on my main fabric okay so just extend it like the way we did for the front to get the new armhole okay so that by the time you are done stitching 
you will not have shortage it's better you have excess you can just easily trim it off okay so i'm going to label this the back and the front so make sure you label your patterns properly so coming to the side that those of you that want to use side that go up by the inches you use for the side that okay so this is what i'm doing remember i used one inch for the side that so i went up by one inch so if you are not using a side that go ahead and slant it this way when you are done stitching and you have joined the front and the back at the side so you are going to just make a slant line go up by one inch at the zip area and you are going to slant it to the side so this is when you are done stitching okay after you are done stitching you are going to just do this to take off the zip bulgeness at that part okay i'm going to just cut this out so please watch carefully the way i'm cutting it out so that you don't make mistake remember to close your side that if you are using a side that okay then you are going to make sure there is no shortage when you are done closing the side that okay But if you are not using a side dart, go ahead and leave it straight like this. Leave the dart open and do this that I said earlier. Do this to avoid any zip bulgeness, okay? So I'm going to just cut this off. So I'm going to just cut this out and label this the boss that so that I don't get confused by the time I'm done cutting this off. You can see. So don't forget to add your necessary allowance because there is no stitching allowance on these patterns. So this is what the back piece are looking like and this is the front piece, okay? So now if you close up the darts at the side, you can see it's aligned with this one inch we came up at the back of the half length. So you can see that one inch dots there. It aligns properly. But if you are not using a side dart, you can see that also the side align up with each other. So just go ahead and add your necessary allowance at the top, at the bottom. Then at the side, you add two inches to one and a half inch allowance. So at the curvy part, add half inch at the top, at the bottom, add half inch, okay? And also make sure you sew exactly on the stitching allowance you left. So thank you very much, guys. This is the end of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. So bye for now.